people welcome back to our channel for those who don't know us i'm nadia and i'm mallory if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe down below if you like these kind of videos and give this a giant thumbs up also my shirt kind of blends in with my skin i am not naked she was I wearing that i was like are you naked yeah. I was like, what the i'm not naked so this week's video is a <laughs> i don't really know how to title it i guess um i it's for a spring break but since we actually been we travel quite a bit i would say for work so we've been traveling quite a bit so we have some things that we picked up and we're about to go on spring break literally tomorrow <laughs> so by the time you're seeing this we are on our way to florida or we're already there yeah so we have tips tricks tips, ideas tricks, things ideas. you could use yeah. even if you're not going on plane car rides car rides because we travel in car and plane all the time and i know not everyone travels a lot so to already know without experiencing it what what's gonna, what's your next step, looking forward, um, is great to know. So with that said, let's get into it. So the first thing I have is bikini bags. I never realized how much, like I thought I wouldn't need it, but my swimsuits never dry. This makes sense. By the time I'm supposed to leave. So yeah. this is great and I don't like spending like 20 or $10 on like a bag to put my swimsuit in. And if you yeah, put it in a Walmart bag, it's like, it just ratchet. looks ratchet. It, it looks so ratchet. bad. Okay, it's just ratchet. Let's be honest. And it doesn't really help. It kind of seeps through. So yeah. I got this. You know like that in Target? I call it the dollar section, but let's be real. It's like $5. It's my favorite section. It's well, I got this bag there for like $3. Naughty has one too. And um, I thought it'd be great to put your swimsuit in. This one says good times. They have other ones. Naughty has one. But I think it'd be great to put your swimsuit in. And on the way there, you can put which is great you can put lotion and this and plus, is with all the stuff in it you can still fit your swimsuit you can fill your swimsuit in on your way back and also um this is birds and bees after sun smoother because you know we're gonna get sunburned let's be real and some um what's that thing called sunscreen I don't say <laughs> so it. sunscreen sprayable and stick kind because i have to use the stick kind on my face because if i use the body kind i break out <laughs> Okay, so for like light packing or save room and stuff, for the smalls, it is like a um, PJ dress Dresses. or um, what are those things called? I call them rompers, not rompers. Can, no, jumpers. Jumper. No. Onesies? Yes! Onesies? The onesies. Okay. PJ dresses, onesies, you can reuse them. They're light yeah. packed. You don't have to have many layers of PJs, tops and, and shorts. And you can and use really one PJs for like two nights. So also, whatever. I'm not going to lie, nightgowns, nightgowns, night dresses, if they're not like super sleepwear, like if they look legit, like you would just sleep in them, then I wouldn't wear it out. But you could wear like something like this, since it is striping as a nest. Well, okay, the buttons give it a little different vibe. I know, you can But so, if it, it doesn't look way. super sleepwear, you can literally wear that on the beach with some sandals. There's an outfit, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, the only time you're always, you're gonna have something that's like super dressy is if you're going out to eat. But if you're just hanging out at the beach all day, you don't need that much stuff. Also, um, for like another clothing item is a hoodie or a big jacket, whatever. I do hoodie, even though I'm kind of, I hate when it, because I always mess up my hair when I take it out. You can use this as a pillow, keep you warm, put your legs in, if you're like me, put your legs yeah. in it because they're so cold. But blankly, like, this could save your life. Yeah, <laughs> and if it's oversized, you can turn it into a dress. It could be a pillow or a blanket. So it's very versatile. Just so you know, check out where you're staying because sometimes they actually do have washer and dryers. Um, so like it's a hotel, Airbnb, check it out because you can do laundry if you're there for a long time, but you can only pack little. Okay. So next, kind of going along with the clothes, I would say bring one sandals, one sneakers, and if you work out, 10 shoes. So that's three pairs of shoes and that should be enough. Um, depending like what kind of sandals do you wear more? Do you wear black more or black? Uh, I mean, or brown. <laughs> black or black. Well, that doesn't make sense. Mallory's closet, her favorite color is black and black. It's like too many black and black. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. We literally have like a shelf and half over here of like... Just shoes. black. Oh my like, gosh. Like, someone please stop us with the black booties. I just, they're just so cute and they come so in different, different styles. styles. My go-to sandals, because I'm not really a sandal person. If I do sandals, it's... 
I like the slides. Like, I'm not like girl, girly, boho type sandal type girl. I love Birkenstocks. You love or hate them. So, like, if you don't like them, don't get them. There's different but styles. There's though. different styles. Like the Sometimes they look weird on people's seat. So, it's like a mix of motion. I got these last year's. As you can tell, they're really they're black. black. <laughs> I really want another pair that are white, but I'm scared they're going to get dirty. True. But I wear these all the time. Now, for sneakers, usually I go for like white plain sneakers, but everyone probably has these in their closet by now. But they're just classic um, Adidas All Stars. There's Nike ones. Winter there's we go with everything. Reebok ones. There's literally whatever you want. And then for tennis shoes, especially if you wear like workout clothes, usually during the day, because some people actually do prefer that. These, these are my favorite. We mentioned them in like one or two videos already. <laughs> We're like traveling, so these are like two empty containers. They're from Lush, where you can use whatever you have, moisturizer container, whatever. Any empty this containers. is a lip scrub one, this is a cold mask one that you can, when it's done, clean it out. You can also return and get remasked it. Um, you can empty them out instead of like throwing them away, reuse them, put like your moisturizer or whatever it is, because it will save space or your body wash, because ours is like a pretty tall yeah, from like the tar right. from Target, and you can probably just squirt it in here and... When you're driving, it does not matter. But when you are flying, since there is a certain a like amount you have to bring, if it's on your carry-on. Yeah. But if it's in your suitcase, it doesn't matter. If you are tight packing um, this, I guess, if you are traveling with carry-on or just a big suitcase, um, I would say bring it back like this to put um, your makeup I think you products. should do, even if you're not going on a plane, I think you should do this just so your mind's not the habit of everything. Yeah, get in the habit of it too. Put your makeup products, if you're on vacation, let your skin rest. No one really knows you. You're not trying to pick up a guy and if you I are, personally then, don't like makeup, but know, when I do, just put a little bit on. You really don't need Yeah, that like you're not going to wear it unless you're going out. Don't put on that much makeup. Let your skin rest. It's your free-for-all. No one knows you. You know, like, let it yeah. rest. I would say for makeup products, um, concealer and powder. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm gonna use. But if you are self-conscious or you do want a little more full coverage, but you want it to be lightweight, I definitely recommend. This is pricey. I mean, let's be honest. Anything at Sephora is pricey. Yeah. But it is the Marc Jacobs. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the Genius Gel. Although everything will be linked down below. Foundation. It's very lightweight, but it does a great coverage. Like this, just I have it on my face right now. I don't even feel it. Like, what and if you don't want to get light. that, you, there's all kinds of different BB Dukes. creams, drugstore, and at Sephora. Yeah, just a powder. Even if you don't want to put on concealer, foundation, just powder containing the oils. Good, good. A good, good. highlight's good though. If you just put highlight, yeah. blush. And I don't have mascara in my lap right now, but mascara you can use waterproof because then you can go on the beach with it and then you can go out with it. Like it's very easy. Um, Especially some, when you're like when it's really hot outside, you know what I mean? Or like my is, eyes get watery yeah. sometimes out of nowhere. And since since it is hot outside, a good primer underneath your foundation is great. And um, brow gel if you don't want to fill in your. Oh yeah, so go ahead. Next I have a headband. This is good so if working um, out too. Well, working out too, but like you wanna get your hair on your face, you want your face just to breathe when you're in the car or on the plane. Or when you're on the plane, I mean I recommend not to do a mask in the car because like it's gonna like we're gonna wipe it off or whatever. Yeah. Personally me because I'm a germ freak. But if you're in the plane, you can go to the bathroom, put this on and put your mask on or whatever you have and little women headbands were in our favorite video. Um we are a big fan of them. Next is sunglasses because if you're going somewhere tropical or even in the winter, sometimes it's sunny where yeah. we're going. Sunglasses are great. Um, sometimes when you order sunglasses online, they come in this like bubble wrap little pocket thing. And I'm probably gonna fit two in here, not one, because that's like a lot of space. But literally, take what they gave you, put it, if I can get it in here, <laughs> put it in here, and look, your sunglasses are not gonna be broke. Put them in your suitcase, you're good to go. I know some people travel just carry on, but um, I ain't about that life, and that's not happening. So me and Nadia yeah. usually have each a uh, one big suitcase, and when we travel, we bring all our cameras. We have a tripod, um, we usually travel with our mom, sometimes we have to bring lights. So we try, we put everything in a big suitcase. So if you want us to do like a check, how we travel with our check, a check, <laughs> with our tech, because we literally bring like three cameras, tripod, and lights sometimes. Um, leave a comment down below, we can definitely do that because that does take some space. Not even gonna lie there. You wanna see what kind of outfits we put together? 
follow our social media down below because we'll be posting a lot and our blog will be linked down below if you want to know how to get a perfect summer glowy makeup look that is on our blog right now check it out I hope you guys use these tips and it helps you guys with packing or whatever it is you want to do or going to do okay yeah okay <laughs> and we'll see you guys next week bye I'm